David Cameron's proposed web filter is going to be blocking out more than just pornography. This is according to Open Rights Group, who've been talking to some of the internet service providers here in the UK. They've been trying to figure out just how this filter will work. And according to the information they've gained, the filter will also automatically opt people in to filter out things like violence, extremist and terrorist related content, anorexia and eating disorder websites, suicide related websites, alcohol, smoking, web forums, esoteric material, whatever that is, web blocking and circumvention tools. So maybe this isn't a porn filter at all. It got us all thinking here at Truthloader about censorship and whether this kind of violent pornography blocking it's just a precursor to censorship in general. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let us know because we're considering holding a debate exactly about this. Here's Grace with your comments. Here's some of our favourite YouTube comments from this week on one of our wonderful highlights packages from our interview with the real life human cyborg, Kevin Sullivan said this, human cyborgs began 100 years ago with the onset of the car. Now the world is full of metal machines with humans inside them. We have become a world of Daleks. On our report about the man blowing himself up in an airport in China, 100% said this, while the mainstream media reports on the stupid royal family celebrating a baby, Truthloader gives us real news. Thanks guys. And finally, on a video we did on the solar powered family car, Jack Barber said, this car won't catch on, they need to carry on developing a car that looks normal, but still uses solar energy, to which Blastro replied, define normal. The car looks perfectly fine, you are just indoctrinated by the modern style, you should adapt not the type of car. Here's Adam. Barnaby Jack, the well-known white hat hacker, has died aged 35. He was found at an apartment in San Francisco and he was well known in the hacker community for his genius and showmanship. He once demonstrated a cash machine hack on stage, causing it to drop all of its cash. <laughs> He was due to give a talk at the Black Hat Conference on how to hack heart devices and kill from 30 yards away. His hacks were designed to highlight security holes in products to improve the security. The police don't suspect foul play with regard to his death, but an autopsy report is due in a month's time. A five ounce synthetic burger costing a quarter of a million pounds is to be cooked in front of an exclusive and invited audience in West London. The meat was grown in a laboratory using stem cells from a slaughtered cow. In theory, you could take the stem cells from just one animal to make a million times more meat. The idea behind all of this is to make meat more sustainable as the cultivation of livestock is a heavy burden on the environment. So would you eat a burger that had been grown in a laboratory? We want to hear from you, so let us know in a comment below.